Uh, yeah, when, when we started talking about uh, getting married, uh, you know, we've got friends who are in loving, committed, uh, monogamous relationships but don't have the opportunity to get married. And so we decided that un until they were had that opportunity, we, you know, we, we wouldn't. Um, it's, it's a personal decision and, and you know, I, I really think the, the debate about um, equal rights in marriage it really has to move forward and can't, can't be used as a political football um, by, the, by the two parties. With, with John, I think you know, the biggest thing in this debate is that uh, we're dealing with, with people here and how can you blame someone for what they are? Um, people don't choose their sexuality and you know, we, we marginalise the uh, LGBTI community for what they are. So I think this is a conversation that, that needs to be had uh, and we need to you know, discuss it um, compassionately and actually come to a... Uh, something that, that, that's reasonable. In my mind, that's marriage for everyone, regardless of, of, uh, of their sexuality. And we, we've, we've moved forward on so many other issues, and I think this is, this is the next progression. A lot of uh, uh, gay people may not want to be married, may not believe in the institution of marriage, but I think it has to be an option. And how can we uh, be challenging homophobia when we're saying, you're equal to me, but you're separate? Yeah. I'll, I'll, I'll go and sign this document here, but you can have your you know, civil, civil union thing, which is the same, but not really. Like, I, I think we really have, yeah. to, have to start including people and bringing people together.